so she's a plus size model. Let's just be nice. There she is. You can see her on the screen. And she was surprised. They're always surprised when they get a cover shot. Oh, I'm right? sure. And there's a lot of people. I would be surprised if I were her as well. Who are going to respond to this? The headline says uh, New York Post Yumi Nu shaking over SI swimsuit cover reveal. No, that's just so, the ground when she so, walks. <laughs> that's a weird. That's a weird way. <laughs> like that opens up way too many jokes. Yes. You know, like the, is like she jiggling? Just... Is she shaking? <laughs> now I look at her face mm-hmm. and I think. Obviously, she's a pretty woman. She's, she's, a, she's a beautiful woman. And if you want to have a plus-size model, that's one thing. But this is Sports Illustrated. Right. This is the same company that puts out the body issue every year with naked athletes mm-hmm. to show the, the physical athletic form, right? Yeah. To me, it's hypocritical. You know, Extremely. a lot of people are saying things that it's, oh, it's fat shaming, which I'm tired of that phrase that's dumb well first of all you should be uh feel a little bit ashamed if you're fat because you're not healthy you're not not, he- not because of you're you're ugly i don't yeah. think being fat means ugly but like you should want to be healthy now jordan peterson uh which i'll catch hell for saying this i, I don't quite understand the fascination with jordan peterson i don't it doesn't mean i don't like jordan peterson i've yeah. read his books and yeah. i listen to him from from time to time i will listen to him talk and it sounds like Yoda, using a big <laughs> word. And, but have you ever heard how, like, he's, he's like, so I will take the control of the teleprompter, and it's much like life, how you just twist it and turn it, and, yeah. and you know, and thousands of people show yeah. up. Yeah. You listen to talk about turning the joystick. And, Doesn't it make you wonder, like, what the hell am I doing with my life? I'm I can like, get up there and say that. I'm like, he just takes any random word and yeah. builds some life philosophy out of it. <laughs> If you know the right words, you can make anything sound really smart. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unlike the press secretary, which we'll talk about that <laughs> later on. Yes. But so Jordan Peterson, he didn't delete his Twitter, but he logged out of it and told his staff not to let him know the password mm-hmm. um, because he caught so much hate because he tweeted something that I, I don't agree with when he said not beautiful. And he goes on this thing about it. Actually, let me read the tweet to you because it's on the screen there. He said, um, mm-hmm. uh, Sorry, not beautiful. Yeah. And no amount of authoritarian tolerance is going to change that. Okay. So I, I understand what he's saying. Right. And, and it was again, not phrased well. Be- beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Correct. So to say not beautiful, I, I, I don't know. You know, I've always been of the philosophy that men would have far easier lives if they could reconcile what they think looks good with what they know feels good. Yeah. Like, that's, that's a comfortable woman yeah, right there. Yeah, <laughs> okay? yeah. Historically speaking, that's a great eight, point. like the 1800s, overweight women, that uh-huh. was the way to be. Look at the statues. Right, yeah. The, well, so they, that indicated that they were indicated that ri- they were rich, they were well-fed. Right. Yeah. That was a sign of being, you know, economically well-off. Yeah. Right? You came from status. Right. But it, we also know that the health standards mm-hmm. of 1859 and 2022 – like they can actually go, they can put EKG stuff on here and see the calcium in the arteries <laughs> right, around my right. heart. So we know things like HDL and LDL and triglycerides. Yeah, we know about um, diabetes. Right, we know about vitamin deficiencies. All of these various things. We know that if you get heart disease, it costs a lot of money, and uh, we're all sharing in this wonderful Obamacare system Mm -hmm. that they've created for us, so we should all have some sort of an interest in it. We know, I know very well, that belly fat contributes to heart disease, it Mm -hmm. contributes to diabetes, it contributes to cancer, all of these various things. So when you put that on the cover of Sports Illustrated, you're not allowed to call it out because, again, this is not about fat shaming. We've created a bully culture. Yeah. And so nobody, it, like everybody's anti-bully to the point where you can't say anything truthful at all right. anymore. Right. Yeah. I mean, I agree with you that Jordan Peterson probably didn't phrase that. It's not something that I agree with. I wouldn't say that it's not beautiful. But it, at the end of the day, it shouldn't be controversial to say Sports Illustrated should be for like very fit athletes who have something to like share. Like if I read a cycling magazine... 
Right. You're not going to find me on it. I want to see a cyclist. Right. I, I want to see somebody who knows something about cycling, and right? Is she just a plus size model? Like she's not an athlete, right? She's not a, she doesn't no. play sports. That's why I'm saying Which like none of them, none of the sports illust- never uh, have the history. I mean, maybe like Gabriella Reese. Yeah. I think she was in a Gabby Reese who was beach volleyball. I, I think maybe she was in sports illustrated deal. I know she was in playboy. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel. So you'll be sure to see similar videos from blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here. And let's go.